planet Earth, the city Tokyo. Like all cities on the face of this planet, Tokyo is losing the battle against man's deadliest enemies, waste and pollution. Despite the efforts of local and world government, the air, the sea and the land may soon lose their ability to support life of any kind. Who will help? Spectre Man. Something's haywire. <laughs> what the? Man has entered the space age and claimed the moon for his own. Astronauts brought back rock specimens for laboratory study. Among them, the iridescent moonstones. Moon Thunder, to whom these stones were precious, pursued the Apollo, which was destroyed in a fiery re-entry. And in its effort to regain possession of the stones, Moon Thunder destroyed bridges, cities, people. Where's he off to? There's some mystery about that stone. To travel through space for it. I wonder. But that's a little too wild. Yet it just might... Yeah. It's a form of life. <laughs> Laboratory analysis, lunar stones. I want to check on the moonstones. We have no material to work with. Our Earth scientists have run tests. Here is their report with the information. Please help. We'll investigate right away. Stand by. Spectre Man, we have scanned the report with interesting results. The Moonstone is not dead matter. It is the Moon Dweller's egg, therefore a life force. A moon child. That would explain it. Oh. We are lucky to have this specimen. There are three others that I know of in laboratories. Truly rare. I must get those eggs. Nebula, there's danger. I must transform. Request denied. You have not yet regained optimum energy. It would be disastrous for you to transform now. You must wait. I can't. Moon Dweller will surely attack. You must realize the danger. He means to get his children back. We are well aware of the dangers, but we do not go in for meaningless heroics. For the moment, you must bide your time. This is an order. How can I just stand by doing nothing? I'm not without feelings. Okay. San Francisco were virtually destroyed by the moon creature. Despite a combined sea, land, and air search by international military forces, it continues to evade detection up till now. It is our fervent hope that he has left the Earth and will not return again. Ah, let's light a candle. <laughs> That's a fighter. He's magnificent. Oh, yeah. Even I, the great glory, am filled with admiration. Oh, yes, admiration. I want to get a closer look. Let's go down. San Francisco. New York. Then to London. Paris, now they say he's coming this way. What'll we do? 
Hello, Pollution Here. Research and Control Bureau. Here. Yes, just a minute. Chief, huh? Professor Moore at the Space Science Lab. Hello, Professor. What's that? Those stones communicate. It sounds crazy. It certainly does. I'm glad you're here. Look at this. Interesting. But what makes you think they're talking? Well, you see, there are four moonstones in the major cities of the world. The needle goes back and forth between them. They're in the cities the creature destroy. It appears strange, yet I feel there is a correlation. Then we're in danger, too. You think he's after the stone? Yes, we've got to hide it. I have a strange feeling. It seems to be alive. It may respond to certain electrical impulses, but alive. Aren't you letting yourself get a bit carried away? Perhaps, but alive or not, we can't afford to lose it. Hmm. Quite right. We'll find a safe place. What do you think, Chief? Well, we've got to enlist the help of the military. There's no other way. Hold down the office, will you, while I check this out. Okay. I don't know what the world's coming to. Well, at least there's never a dull moment. Well, sure, it's not dull, but sometimes I'd like to just relax. Well, look at it like this. We're living in an unusual age. Taxi. Straight ahead, third corner. He's determined to get his children back. Yes, we must act quickly now. That's right, the city's in danger. Now get cracking. Hi. Hold on a second. Where the devil have you been? Don't you realize what's going on? Sure I do. Red alert. I know that, boss. Then get out of here and join the others. Where are they? The space science lab, where the moonstone is, of course. Right. An incubating life. It belongs with its own kind. And yet, how can one convince the scientist on Earth to relinquish such a prize? Scientists. They think only in terms of research. Hi, George! How you doing, Tommy? Hey, I'm glad you came. I'm feeling frustrated. How come? I just wanted to see the monsters, but everyone rushed off in a big hurry, so I couldn't get in. Do you know where they went to? To defense headquarters, to hide the stone. To hide it. That's the worst thing they could do. I think they're headed for real trouble that way. You see, the stone's an egg, son. Ah, oh, George, you gotta be joking. Come on, you know you can't kid me that way. I wish I were, but it's true. If you say so. Professor Mora, come in, please. Come in, sir. Professor Mora. Yes, Mora here. Ah, uh, this is George from Pollution Control. George, I'm glad it's you. We need everyone's help. Listen, sir, that stone you took. Under control. The Army's cooperating to find a safe hiding place. You must not do that. You've got to return it. Return it? It's not just a stone. It's a child of the moon. Well, so what if it is? Don't you understand? Oh, it's the moon dweller's child. Uh, it's why he's on Earth. To get it. I yeah. don't believe it. He wants it back. Then he'll go away. Out. You'll see, sir. Don't think you're crackers. They're static. Do you read? Can you hear? Come in, George. Can. I can't hear him. It's no use, sir. There's interference on the line. It's all go, Professor. 